I've never been one to shy away from a controversy, and I'm not going to do it here. And what I'm going to say in this video is most likely going to upset a lot of people, and I'm honestly very sorry for that. However, I have never, ever shied away from being honest about how things are. There are, there are many things we wish things were, that we want them to be different, but then there's how things are, and I have to deal most of my life with how things are. Now, there is no professional smith or tradesman that I have ever encountered that does not instruct a beginner to make sure that when you use a grinder that you keep the handle on and the guard on without fail. There's nobody that I've ever heard advise differently. At the same time, there is also no professional that I have ever visited that their grinders in their shop didn't look like mine with absolutely no guard and no handle. Folks, we are not being dishonest. And I'm not going to sit here and tell you that just because we're professionals that the rules are different. However, we are far more knowledgeable about how to use these tools safely. And that's the big difference. You know, and I, I've always been an advocate of making sure that people understood the reality of, the, of how things are. And that's what I'm doing here. And yes, if you're a beginner and you are unfamiliar with these tools, for God's sakes, keep the guard on and the handle on because you do not understand how to use this tool in a safe manner and it can do some tremendous damage. So guess what? Even in this shop, if I'm using a zip wheel, and that's the photographs we've all enjoyed on the internet of wheels stuck into people's faces, guess what happens? The handle and the guard usually goes back on. I also wear a face mask and safety glasses because I've seen those damn photographs too. However, in a lot of the work that I do here in the shop, the guard and the handle would absolutely not work for cleaning up many of the panels that we use. And even then, if we're using a tiger wheel, something like that, there'll be a grab every now and then. It is part of the dangers of working into the shop. And it is true, though, as a professional, we know more about how to mitigate these dangers than a beginner does. So it is absolutely fair and reasonable that as a professional, I tell you to make sure that every safety piece you can put on there needs to be on there and be honest and correct about it. And by the same token, as a professional, because I know more about how to handle it than you do, that the safety factor for me doing something different is also safe to a degree that life is safe. There's always going to be accidents. There's always going to be incidents. But when you hear this stuff and you see these dog piles of people pointing out safety issues, folks, life is dangerous. This craft can be dangerous. We as professionals try to instruct you the best way we can. And it's not a case of do as I say, do as I do, because between the beginner and the professional, they are not equal. There are, in fact, different rules for you as a beginner and then me as a professional. Now, everybody loves when a professional has to eat those words because accidents do happen, and that's just part of it. But as this is our job, this is our job hazards, we spend an inordinate amount of time trying to get work out the door and not kill or harm anybody in the process. Safety is absolutely important. So that, to sum it all up, put the handle and guard on your grinder.